Welcome back to our channel, Cassidy and James. We made it to the Amalfi Coast. The airport was a little hectic when we got there. We would definitely recommend to arrange for your transportation ahead of time. The drive was long, but beautiful, and our hotel was just about every shade of blue you could imagine. We immediately set out into the city to get pizza and to see Pompeii. If you're not familiar, Pompeii was a wealthy city that was destroyed in 79 CE when Mount Vesuvius erupted. The city was preserved for centuries before its discovery in the late 16th century. It's like taking a step back in time. The details you can still notice 2,000 years later. I can't believe how well preserved it is. Going over to the brothel area is kind of crazy, but then again, everything here is. It's hard to believe this place was even destroyed so long ago. A huge reminder of the destruction is actually being able to see the residents of the city. It's so sad and so incredible all at the same time. And you know how we needed to end the day? With some gelato! Hello, I'm at breakfast. This is provolone that's made locally. Mozzarella made here. Some local salon. So I'm creating a little sandwich on this fresh baguette. These are the stars of the show over here. This brioche. Do you see? It's so good. And then this cake. Do you see the moistness? And then there was also a tart here, but I just, I finished it. It was so good. Now we're getting on a boat to leave Sorrento, and we picked a tough day to do this because it was a very, very rocky journey to Amalfi, but we made it. And man, was the journey worth it. Some of the best pastries we've ever had, lots of sights and shopping, and Amalfi is famous for their lemons, so of course we had to get some lemon sorbet, and we just kept eating. We, uh... Just got a pasta to share, just because we wanted to try pasta out here. We do not need food right now. We're eating so much, but everything has been literally incredible so far. So I'm always down to get more. The architecture of the Maritime Museum blew my mind. This is a free museum that used to be an armory, which showcases a city's naval history through statues, documents, and artifacts. You never know this was here if you didn't go looking for it. Now back onto the boat to head over to Positano. There's a lot of shopping here and good luck if you need to go to the bathroom. Just expect long lines after you hunt one down. You'll also need to make a purchase, but it is a beautiful place. On our way back home, multiple people started throwing up. I told you the journey was rough, but we forgot about all of that when we came home to this beautiful sunset. What a way to end your tour of the Amalfi Coast. We're at our last breakfast in Sorrento, and then we're going over to Rome. We're going to take the train. Our photographer did just send us all the photos from the wedding, so we're very excited to go through those. We're going to go through them on the train. I'll put a couple here. Are they good? I haven't seen them yet. So very, very excited to go through those. I feel like we're going to be like screaming on the train because there are some moments where like, like Max spilled a red drink on my wedding dress. I can't wait to see those photos. Honestly, it was hilarious. He felt so bad, but like I could care less. I'm never wearing that dress again, you know? But I'm gonna finish my breakfast out here. I'll show you what I'm looking at. Oh, Vesuvius. I stole my roll, my brioche. Took this with me. We are gonna finish packing and have them hold onto our bags and then kind of just explore the garden. We have about 30. How did that happen? <laughs> This white part, these things, it fell off and it rolled down my arm and into my pants. I don't think I ever gave you a room tour of honestly any of our rooms. 
I'm not doing a good job of this whole video thing, but I'll give you a tour. Let me figure out where to set my roll, which honestly, why did I take this? Our room is not clean at all. There's stuff thrown everywhere and I don't care. I'm giving you a tour just like this. So get ready. So as soon as you walk in, there's our laundry bag, ignore that. But you've got a little coffee area. You've got your fridge down here. Here's the bathroom. <laughs> You got a bidet. I'm upset that we didn't use it, but there's still time. Um, vanity, shower. Almost all of our showers have just had that glass piece here. This one's a door that like opens, um, but it gets water everywhere. It is not the best uh, system, but I understand where they're coming from. Then we've got the bedroom. So bed, <laughs> that, this. I, really, I don't need to give you a huge tour. You can see what everything is. Our hotel room is kind of in the middle of a jungle, it feels like. And then you've got the balcony. And we've got a park view, so it's looking right out into... Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that sun ray. This is our room. Um, unfortunately, this is my first room tour I've done for you. And although this room is incredible and is super, super nice and we're so lucky to be here, this is probably our worst room so far. So I'm so sorry that this is the one you got a tour of. But now I'm gonna bless my teeth. We are now at our hotel's garden, which is wild. Like here's just right when you walk out. There's a whole cave to walk down. What's down there? We're gonna find out. I just took like a couple photos of James, just him walking in front of me and they look like they should be out of a magazine. I'm gonna be honest with you. Her titties are impeccable. I feel like the nipples should be there. Or there? I don't know. They're missing a piece here. You beautiful girl. We love it too little. When we were in Pompeii, they told us that two days before we came for our excursion, they found a turtle underground and it was still pregnant from 79 AD. 2,000 years ago. Oh, hi little guy. What's up? Wow. Oh my gosh, the water does look amazing. Look at how clear it is. This is where we watched the sunset from last night. I feel like this place is so pretty. But I feel like the water is bluer and clearer here than it was in Santorini, which like you'd think the opposite. This does not look real. This looks like I'm in front of a backdrop right now. Now we're just waiting on our ride to come pick us up and take us to the train station. This was our scenic and calm moment because it is go, go, go in Rome. So very excited to see you there. Very excited for a jam-packed video. We made it onto the train. Um, this is first class. You get a table. That's really the only difference. It's the same seats, but you get a table. Honestly, getting a table, really nice. Definitely worth, it was like, $15 to have it, okay. so worth it. The one thing I do want to tell you, if you're traveling throughout Europe, on the train you have to have a mask, and nowhere else has needed that. None of the flights at the train station, they don't say anything to you about it at all. But once you're on the train, they're like, oh yeah, you need a mask. So we panicked, but they have a little like place you can get a mask on the train. So crisis averted, but know that what you get on the train, if you have like a specific one you like, you're gonna need it. Before we got on the train, we acquired a whole feast. This is from a place called Toast House, and it's so good. <laughs> it's just like pretty much a club sandwich on toast. And then James went over to McDonald's, and Italian McDonald's has a chicken Big Mac. Very excited to eat that because we love chicken and we love a Big Mac. We're really eating fine Italian cuisine here. 